Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So a student's body, you know, deceased, was found uh, on a campus in University of, at the University of Canterbury, which is in Christchurch, New Zealand. But he, was, he wasn't found for an entire two full months, eight weeks, you know, uh, before he was discovered. I guess uh, they must know the time of death because that's how it's being repeat, reported again and again. But, um, you know, I assume his body by that point was in, in such a state. I don't know if it, it's already started to decompose by that point that a disaster victim identification team needed to be called in. The DVI process involves examining human remains for fingerprints, DNA and dental records to confirm an identity. Obviously, it's extremely shocking and it's hard to understand how that could possibly happen in, in like a dorm room or apartment settings, you know, uh, on a campus um, that somebody's body couldn't be discovered for an entire two months. The father, it says a father contacted police with concerns as his son's body went unnoticed in, in a University of Canterbury Hall of Residence for nearly eight weeks. It also says over at Fox that his father called... Um, Called the called the police when he was una, una, unable to reach him. However, the New Zealand police police or the Christchurch police don't haven't confirmed that. Um, according to the report, the student's father also contacted police after he won, uh, after he was unable to reach his son. Police did not confirm this. So the uh, the company that runs and it's not I don't know exactly know which which facility you know where he was located. It says. Sonoda Christchurch campus, but it doesn't necessarily name the hall that he was living in. Uh, but it does say in another report, I think of a Fox, that it's the Campus Living Villages is the company that operates, you know, these these housing facilities, at least, you know, the one in question for this. And they have facilities all over, you know, they, in the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand. This is New Zealand. And this is the University of Canter Canterbury facilities. I believe it's maybe University Hall or Sonoda Village. That would be my guess. This is sort of a map of the campus, and um, but I don't know which building, you know, which which of those uh, it was in. That would be my guess, University Hall, but I, I, honestly, I don't know. But it does say that you know um, he was located at the end of the hall that sort of got neglected. According to reports, the student's room was at the end of a long corridor and not attended by the hall's cleaners as they only worked on common areas. Police said an autopsy was conducted Tuesday. Investigators were still finishing up a uh, scene examination on Wednesday. You know, they must know his time of death, but, uh, but his cause of death, we still don't know that either, whether it's of natural causes or if, if they uh, suspect anything, you know, some kind of foul play or what, you know. The, uh, the education minister uh, of New Zealand, Chris Hipkins, obviously expressed his disappointment. On Wednesday, the country's education minister, Chris Hipkins, called for an investigation, saying the death was deeply troubling. If you're, going to, if you're going into a hall residence or a hostel, you're paying top dollar for not just a roof over your head, but also uh, the pastoral care. That goes, uh, that goes with that. And I think clearly that's not been present in this case. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy for sure. And um, the body was found Monday night at a Sonoma, Sonoda residence at the University of Canterbury in charge, Christ Church, excuse me, after fellow students noticed a foul smell. That's the story there. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and I will see you in the next video. Later, man.